I'm Tani Cantil Sakaue, and I'm Chief Justice of California. I am the chairman and CEO of the Nehemiah Companies. I'm a partner at Stoll Reeves. Uh, my practice is primarily uh, in construction litigation. Currently work for ESPN. You can catch me on Monday Night Baseball. I started out at Consumnes River College back in the mid 80s. I had gone to Sac State for a while and frankly I wasn't ready for it. I went back to CRC and you know that's where I found my home. When I took business law and economics 1A and 1B, that's what changed everything for me. It was Katsumnas and the administration's, hey, let's give it a try, let's support our young people rather than close doors to them, that made all the difference of the world to me. This is Township 9, and Township 9 is a 65-acre uh, mixed-use, mixed-income project. It's one of the largest infill projects in Sacramento. At Katsumnas, there was a lot of discussion about not only being professionally successful, but giving back to one's community. And so that's really been the story of my career. My experience at Sacramento City College in 1977-78 was really a life changer. And it was the first time I experienced independence, true mentorship, and such a diversity of student. I did know that I wanted to get on the speech and debate team because my sister had. And the reason I wanted to go was because at that point in my life, at 16, 17, I had never really traveled anywhere. And I knew they went to exotic places like Santa Rosa and San Jose, and I wanted to go there. I'd never been. Kenneth Lynch, the uh, speech director, was incredibly instrumental in guiding me. And he was my sister's coach as well a few years prior. He was a man of understatement and high sarcasm. And it made for great engaging conversations. I think that the Community College Los Rios serves such an important critical part of the community. So I'd like to say thank you. My heart's filled with gratitude. I figured out what I wanted to do when I was active duty in the Navy. I, I decided I wanted to be a lawyer. I thought Folsom Lake College was uh, very welcoming. Having spent four years in the military, I felt like I was a little bit behind on the college experience. Most of my classes were evening classes, and it, the people that were teaching at Folsom Lake, for the most part, uh, were uh, an adjunct faculty member. Uh, they had another job and another life. And uh, that left an impression on me, and I thought, well, when the time comes, I would like to do that as well. So when you state your issue as negligence, uh, teach part-time, I still have my, my regular career, but let's still teach maybe one, one class a night, and that's what I'm doing here. I know a lot of uh, successful members out there in this community uh, owe their success in large part to what you've done. Uh, no one else does it like you guys. Congratulations. American River College provided me with a great learning experience, not only on the field as an athlete, but in the classroom and outside of the classroom. Coach Doug Jumelay, he was the man that when we arrived, we were looking for a baseball coach. He was the gentleman they pointed us in his direction. When you meet the people, you meet the faculty, you meet the staff, you meet the baseball coaches, I knew it was a place that I needed to be if I was going to launch myself onto the next stage. Pennington, he's got it. Throw it up first. He did it. He did it. Dallas Brayton has thrown a perfect game. I am wearing the vintage American River Junior College baseball jacket via Kevin Higgins gave this to me my freshman year, and my grandmother actually dug it out just moments ago. Dallas Brayton's grandmother. She says there was dust on it, and I told her that's not dust, that's just nostalgia. Hey, Dallas Brady, pleasure to meet you. Hi, Dallas, how are you? Good, I'm such a big fan. I even got this tattoo in honor of you. Oh, wow. I've got another one on my arm. You riding a dolphin? I drew your portrait myself, you know, from memory. That's a pretty nice dolphin, Dallas. But my favorite of you has got to be the one on my lower back. Check it out. Whoa, I'm, I'm cool. 